everything in the body is about balance. Now we just talked about how high cortisol is gonna make you feel like trash, right? Did you know that if your cortisol is too low, you're also gonna feel like trash? Hi, I'm Kelly Calkins. I am the owner of Restoring Hope and I am on a mission to flip the script of what optimal health is and what it looks like in our country. So let's talk about low cortisol. If you're navigating low cortisol, you are likely experiencing low energy. You are craving salty, sugary snacks. You have a low libido. You're probably experiencing dizziness when you stand up too fast or change positions too fast. And uh, you are likely experiencing some muscle weakness or fatigue. So how do we end up with low cortisol if we are living in this very busy, very stressed lifestyle where we're pegged all the time? Well, that's exactly how. When you are in chronic stress and you are living in fight flight, your poor adrenals, which are right back here, the little hats on top of your kidneys, those adrenals, they are releasing cortisol. They're pumping it, they're pumping it, they're pumping it. They're trying to keep up because they want you to stay alive because you're being chased by a bear. They have no idea that you're just busy or stressed or spinning too many plates. So they're doing their job. They're pumping out cortisol so that you can survive, right? Here's the irony. They get tired because they're not designed to constantly be on. Now you have adrenal fatigue. And when you have adrenal fatigue, it's a whole different kind of dumpster fire. It can be a really deep hole to climb out of, but it's possible. You just have to know how to support your body properly so that cortisol can normalize and your adrenals can heal. Now, if this is you and you are navigating either too high cortisol or too low cortisol, reach out, put me in the comments, and I'll send you my free cortisol resource.